Hi Ani. Hi Janak Raman. Welcome back. So, in this last two weeks, we have done some interesting things, okay, and uh, we need to close the loop and fill in the missing link, okay. Mm -hmm. So let me just refresh you on what we did, right? So we took a signal, which was a continuous time signal, analog signal, yes, X of t, and we basically time sampled, right? We did a sample and hold circuit. Yes, so we converted it from continuous time to discrete time. Yes, and we got an X of n T S. Yes. Right? And then we pass this through an ADC, okay, analog to discrete amplitude signal, yes. right? And we got an a quantized version of this, X Q of N and you can keep the T S or drop it, it does not matter, right? Yes. So essentially our X of T has now become an X Q of N. Right. So, yes. if you take a time signal like this, right, it has become a sequence of numbers like 0, 1, 5, 7, some, some, you know, somewhere you get 127, 128. So, some n numbers yes. like this. Okay. This was one side of the discussion. Mm -hmm. Then, uh, of course, we also looked at the concept of a flash ADC to actually get this discrete Correct, amplitude, one go. right, discrete right. amplitude and all that. Then on the other side, we also looked at the contents of a computer, of mm -hmm. a, right. So we said there was a, you know, a microprocessor, you know, the ADC sits here, right, ADC that goes in here, the X of T sits here, right, and then that comes into the microprocessor and then that is talking to a memory, a cache. Yes. Memory, right? And this further would talk to the DRAM memory, right? We yes. just looked at various ICs and components, right? Now, the real missing link now is how do we take these numbers, these integers and store it and process it in a computer like this? Because the computer cannot deal with integers. Integers. Right? So now the only question that we have to answer is if I give you an integer, right, you need to give me some form of representation, we will have to figure out what this is, mm -hmm. that can be stored in a computer, retrieved, you know, stored in the memory, retrieved, right, and that is what we saw in that Audacity software. Yes. Right, we that's saw right. a waveform that we could store, retrieve, open, process, you can do so many things with it, right. So, we are going to now talk about this representation, right? We are going to discuss this, okay? So now I am going to sort of throw a puzzle at you, okay? Right? So assume that uh, you are selling some, let us say, vegetables or somewhere in some market and stuff like that, right? And I am going to come to you with a product, okay? Mm -hmm. And I tell you, that that product that I have, okay, mm -hmm. is an integer weight from okay. 1 to 15. It could be 1, 2, 3, all the way to 15 kgs. Okay. One of these numbers. Okay. Okay. So, the density is different. So, the size will be the same. Mm -hmm. So, you can't make out by looking at the object whether how it, heavy is, it is, how heavy it okay. is. Okay. okay. It's all the same size. Mm -hmm. I want and all you have with you is a weighing balance. Mm. Okay. okay, this is something we have all seen. Okay, we have yes. a weighing balance like this. Okay, and you are going to hold it here yes. in the center. You will place the object that I give you, the red object here. Okay, mm. and on this side, you are free to place certain weights. Okay, 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 and I want you to tell me which of these integers mm -hmm. this the weight of this object is okay okay so what's the simplest solution that you can start with mm, well so <clears throat> the easiest thing to do is to decide whether something is lighter or heavier that okay. i will immediately see from the balance um well i'll start putting weights okay so on the right hand side how many weights do you need ah 
that's a much harder question <laughs> um if the weight can be anything unknown weight can be anything from 1 to 15 i need to be able to put in all weights on the right hand side exactly so you you're saying you will have a 1 kg block yes right uh, 2 kg block yes like this you'll have 15 weights okay yes which are and simple you put one by one yes. see which one gives you the right balance correct and that is the answer yes okay fine this is or i could even have 15 1 kg blocks i put them one by one okay. the idea is the same that's also great right? right so perfect so instead of having this thing you're going to add the weight i'm going to add weight right so you will first put 1 kg yes then you'll put two of them one more 1 kg three and of them so on. all the way 15 correct. of them 15 of them perfect okay so this is great so now i'm going to impose a certain restriction okay i tell you that you know these 15 weights that you had i want you to minimize it to as few as possible this count okay okay instead the number of, of weights or the okay yeah, instead of 15 1 kg blocks okay can you do better than this mm, i see okay uh, i should be able to because um somehow i feel um I, i'll let, let me think about it this way yeah. suppose i had one one kg one two kg and so on yeah um I could have, for example, yeah. Uh, sub, okay, let me start with the easier case. I said 15 1 kg blocks. Yes. Actually, what I could have done, um, I could have just had, let us say, eight of them, and okay. have one 7 kg block. Okay. Right. So okay, nice. So I'm saying, so you're saying 1 kg into eight. Into eight. Okay. And 7 kg into one. Because that gives you. I can now do count from 1 to 8, eight. by adding 1 kg blocks. Yes. Uh, actually, I just need to count to 1 to 6 actually because for the 7 kg, I'll put you in. You have the 7, right? I'll have the so, 7. Great. So, you'll have 6 <laughs> such blocks. Correct. And then you're saying you'll have. 1 uh, 7 kg block. 1 7 kg, uh, sorry, this is 7 kg, 1 block. Yes, but now I have a problem. Yes. The largest weight is only 7 plus 6, 13. Yeah. So I think I still need eight one kg blocks. Exactly. So you'll do six plus plus two. Two. Or yeah. I can now find this is now nine blocks instead of fifteen. Yes. But now I can do better. I can just make it a single two kg block. Okay. I don't need to add two one kg blocks. You said minimize the number. Number. Correct. Right. So now I can just have one two kg block. Okay. So you say one two kg block. Yeah. And I can remove that six plus two. So and I just need one here. Okay. So. That this makes sense. So I can get eight. Eight. Instead of okay. Nine. Okay. So now you're saying. Ah. So if you want to do, let's say, let's try to go through all the numbers now. Okay. Yes. So let's say I want to do one kg. I just take one one kg block. Yes. If I want two kg, I take a two kg block. <laughs> now, if I want three kg, I'll have to either use three one kg blocks or two uh, one two kg block and one one kg block. Right. Okay, so three can be written as <laughs> two plus yes one. Okay. Yes. So now, so you did something interesting. You said I'll take one seven kg block, but then why don't you do the same thing to the six one kg blocks? Can you do something there? Yes, I think I should be able to. Okay. So, um, what I have to do is yeah. find out actually. I have to find out what the missing numbers are here. Yes. And then try to build uh, blocks with that, yeah. right? Um, for example. So let me actually impose another constraint. Okay. Whatever weight you choose, you can have only one instance of that. One. So if you ah. have, one, if you choose one kg, okay, you have only one one kg block. Ah, this yeah. is a tougher, much tougher, tougher problem. problem. Okay. So then what I would do? Yeah. Um, so I would say, let's say I start off with a. I can do one kg easily. Yes. I can so do 2 kgs because I have a 2 kg block. 1 kg, 1 block. 2 kg, 1 block. One block. I put these two together, I get 3 kilos. 3 kg. But 4 kilos, I have a problem. So yes. I need a unique 4 kg block. Yes. So, right? Okay. So you're saying, and wait, wait, let's just step up, step back a little bit. You said 7 kg, 1 block. Yes. Okay. So with this, you let's write down the numbers. Uh -huh. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. Okay. Okay. So you're saying with if I want to do 1 kg, yes. I'm done. 2 kg, I'm done. Yes. If I do 2 plus 1, 3, I'll get 3. Correct. Now 4. 
I can't do four. Yeah. I cannot do five. In fact, I cannot do anything till I hit seven. Till you hit seven. Because you have imposed this condition of only one. One block. One right. Block. So now what you have is you are able to do seven, seven. And then you are able to do eight, eight. Nine. I can do ten. You can do ten. Right. After that. Again, I have a problem. Right? Again, I have a problem. Again. So if you look at it, the maximum you can go is up to 10 kgs to 10. again. Right. Yes. So can we mm. refine this? Okay. So maybe what we should do, yeah. we should start systematically from the lowest integer yeah. and start adding blocks only when required. Okay. Right? Right. We can start like that. Okay. So if I were to start counting from, I know I can do 1, 2, 3. Yeah. So maybe I, I should try be trying to figure out how to get 4. How to get 4. Exactly. Right? Right. Mm. I have to have a 4 kg block clearly. Yeah. Okay. So your uh, next proposal is the following, right? 1 kg 1. 2 kg 1 4 kg now you are saying yes. you are adding you are adding yes. a 4 kg I am adding a 4 kg okay so now let's look at it so you can do 1 kg yes you can do 2 kg yes 2 plus 1 will give you 3, three. now I can do 4, 4 because I have a 4 kg block now 4 plus 1 will give you 5 okay. 4 plus 2 will give you 6 in fact I don't need a 7 kg block you don't need a 7 kg block yes okay, okay. but what's the problem here I can't do 8. You cannot do I 8 and beyond. Out. Yes, I can't do right? 8 and beyond. You are maxed out. Yes. So, what, what, do you, what is your solution? I clearly need an 8 kg block. Exactly. So, you need an 8 kg block. Which yes. Which is 1. Okay. Now, what do you have? Ah. You are able to do 8 because you have a separate 8 kg. Yes. 8 plus 1 again is 9. 8 plus 2 is 10. 8 plus 2 plus 1 is 11. Yes. 8 plus 4 yes. is 12. 8 plus 4 plus 1 yes. is 13, 8 plus 4 plus 2 is 14, Yes. and 8 plus 4 plus 2 plus 1 is 15. Amazing. Right? So, somehow these numbers, right, have allowed us to span that entire Absolutely. integer set, right? In fact, this is how we learnt counting when we were in LKG or UKG. Yeah. Because the decimal number systems 1 to 9 and then you know helps you uh, cover any number, represent any number that you want. Exactly. Right? right? Exactly. So Now I am remembering that after yeah. you have taught me this. <laughs> exactly. Right? So if you look at this, now if I took 1 kg, maybe I will use a different color again here. If I took instead of this representation, 1 kg, 2 kg and I chose 5 kg for some reason. Mm -hmm. Right? And maybe... So let's see, let's go through the same order, I can do 1, right, I can do 1 kg, I can do 2 kg, I can, can do, do 3, 3 kg, but I can't do 4, do 4. you can do 5, now 5 yes. plus 1, 6, 5 plus 2 plus 1, 7, yes, and uh, sorry, 5 plus 2 is 7, 5 plus 2 plus 1, 8, I cannot do 9, yes, right, so you'll have to start skipping this and oh. then you can add some other number, right, now, this is very interesting, so right? what you're saying is, Choosing it, that 4 kg is very critical. It's very critical. Because otherwise I'll miss numbers. Yes, you will miss numbers. So this is actually, so any other combination, mm -hmm. you will not be able to span the I entire see. integer set from 1 to 15. Of course, yes. 0 is trivially satisfied, you put nothing. You put right? nothing. So right. 0 to 15, you can mm. actually span with these numbers if you choose this 1, 2, 4, 8. Eight. I see, okay. Right? So, you are right, when you did the decimal number system, what did we do? We had numbers from 0 to 9. Yes. Okay? And then we went to 10. We went to right? 10. Right? And then 10 plus 1, 10 plus 2, yes. all the way. 10 exactly. We plus counted. 9. Yes. Right? Then you are back to 20. Back to 20. Correct. And so on. So, in some sense, even there, we were doing it in powers of 10. That's 10 true. power 1. Ah. You are right because they taught us place value system. Place value in system. In 3rd standard or 4th standard. Yes. That's so, right. you are talking of the units place, 10's place, 100's place. 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 So, it's yes. 10 power 0, 10 power 1, 10 power 2 and 10 power 3. So, mathematically, this is actually a very consistent way of representing a number. Okay. And it turns out that you can represent a number in multiple ways. 
one is the decimal number system and the other is this number system that we are talking about now okay, okay? but before i go into this i want to make it even more interesting now mm -hmm. because remember i told you i cannot represent integers 2 4 and 8 in a computer that's right i have a problem there we have a problem right? correct so i am going to further complicate this problem for you this okay. puzzle and tell you that i'll give you just 4 1 kg blocks 4 okay. 1 kg okay now you must be able to tell me if the object i gave you is you know what the weight is between 1 and 15 1 and 15 with 4 1 kg blocks only 4 1 kg blocks okay but i'll give you the choice you can redesign your balance ah okay <clears throat> Well, um, can I uh, use some of the other weights to match this with four? Like? Well, suppose I find out which one of these. Oh, you are given only one unknown object. You are not given no, 15 unknown no, objects. No, no, no. Ah. I am giving you just one unknown, one unknown object, object. Right? Okay. So, this is your balance. Okay. Right? Yes. Okay. So, what we are doing here is we are yes. trying to place the unknown object on this side. Well, uh -huh. and well now, uh -huh. suppose if I were to measure the angle by which it changes, would that work? Would that, that the heavier it is, the more angle yeah, but would be formed? Yeah, but we can't it, do that. It's, it's not, not diffi it's very difficult to gauge angles, gauge angles. right? Because we want right. it to be precise. You know if it is straight or not. Yes. That's all. Okay. If the balance is straight or not. That's all. Yes. So, what if I told you that you can add a few more plates to this? Ah. Okay. okay. What if I told you that you can add an other plate to this balancing system mm -hmm. like this? My next guess was to ask if you can actually move the center point somewhere else. Exactly. Right. right. So, I'm yeah. saying. So, what does, what does it mean to say that this balance has, you know, is equal mm -hmm. to whatever weight we put on this side? Let us say you put two 1 kg blocks and it balanced out. Purely because of the moments. Yeah, the side, moments, right? So, equal. the weight, the unknown weight W into this distance. Yes. X should be equal to this distance. Yes. Right? Otherwise, you have to scale according to that. So, That's X right. is equal to? Let us say 2 1 kg blocks. Yes. Right? 2, sorry, not 21 kg. 2 into 1 kg blocks, okay, uh, into x. Mm. And therefore, we were able to say w equal to this. Yes. Now, what if I give you another guy placed here? Ah, okay. And then I tell you that okay. instead of placing a 2 1 kg block here, yes. I place just 1 1 kg here. Okay. Then okay. and this distance is also x. X. Yes. Then what do I do? So what does this mean? It means w into x, yes. the unknown weight, yes. is just one kg into two x. Yes. Okay. Perfect. So now let's go back and look at what you had suggested. You said one, two, four, and eight. eight. Yes. But each of them is now a one kg block. Mm -hmm. So now. How would you redesign this balance? Ah, so uh, now I ne clearly need four of these. Arms. Four of these, but yes. where would you space them? Uh, equally spaced. Okay. Right. So equally spaced at x, I, I would think. X. But if you do that, ah, so what now would you get? A, yes, <laughs> because you will get three x uh, exactly. times uh, one kilos. Right. If you so the scale lengths have to be scaled up by two times. Exactly. Right. So right. essentially, what we want is now a balance, which is now. One is at distance x. X. Next is at two x. Two x. Next has to be at four x. Four x. Right. Yes. And the next last one has to be at eight x. Eight x. Perfect. Now okay. I understand. Yes. So now this is going to be four x, and this distance all the way here is going to be eight x. Great. Okay. Now you look at the problem that we have 
and I said if you want to measure 1 kg, yes. what would you do? You would just put it on the closest guy. Yes. Now if you want 2 kgs, you would put 1 kg here. Yes. Now if I want 3, I would put 1 on each. 1 on each. Yes. It's 1 here and 1 here, right? Yes. Now if I want 4, I, I remove all these weights from here and just put 1 Perfect. because it's 4x. Right? Yes. 5 is, I put it back here. Yes. 6 is only here, I remove. Yes. Remove this. 7 is 4 plus 2 plus 1. And so on. Yeah, and I understand. So yes. on. All the way you go like so that. So, right? if you were to put one, 1 kg weight on each one of these. Each one of these. So, you will basically get 8 plus get 4 plus 2 plus, plus 1. 4 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 15. 15. Perfect. Right? Nice. So, now. What we have done with this unique balance of ours is we are able to tell how many, what the weight is with just 4 1 kg weights. Mm. Okay. As opposed to what we started with, we said 15 1 kg 15 weights. 15 1 kg weights. Right. Okay. So, in some sense, we have compressed that information into this representation. So, in general, I can say that if a weight has to be added here, mm -hmm. right. Then, you know, the the uh, the representation, right? Either the weight is there or it is not there, mm -hmm. right? And this is going to be closest to this, okay. right? So okay. I will call this B zero. Okay. Okay. Now I understand. You talk. You talked about the place value in decimal. Yes. Now I am able to see the way you added it. It seems like this is the lowest place value. Lowest place value, exactly. I see. Right? Okay. So, this is B0. I am going to call this B1, okay. B2 and B3. Okay. Right? Now, the weight W is mm -hmm. going to be represented by B0. Okay? So, let us say I place a weight here mm -hmm. into X. It is B0 yes. into X. Okay. Yes. Because if it is there, it is 1 kg. Yes. It is 1 into x. Yes. Otherwise, it is not Zero. there. Right? Yes. Plus 2x into b1. Yes. Plus 4x into b2. Plus 8x into b3. Okay. Okay. So, you can simply cancel out all these x's here. And what you have is the weight W can be represented as B0 plus 2 power 1 B1 plus 2 power 2 B2 plus 2 power 3 B3. Right? Amazing. So, in yes. general, the, the integer, right, the W that we wanted to represent can be represented as BK 2 power K. Okay? And K, so 1... Uh, sure shot way of telling an electrical engineer from some other kind of engineer, yes, they will count from zero. Count from zero, right? Yes, you are used to counting from one yes. in uh, school, yes, but an electrical engineer counts, counts from, from zero, zero. because absolutely. the binary representation actually mandates that, right? That's so, right. you go from zero to n minus one, Perfect. okay? Yes. So, this BK is what we call a bit. Okay. okay, and this is called a binary representation. I think the word bit comes from binary digit. Yes, okay. exactly. Okay, representation. Okay, it's a binary representation, and this just like the decimal system is in base ten, mm -hmm. this is in base two. I see. Okay. The base of the number system is 2 and therefore, okay. each digit can now take only 2 values 0 or 1. In okay. the decimal number system, the, the base was 10 and each digit could take values 10 values 0 to 9, right. So, here it is exactly base 2 and each value now can take 0 or 1, okay. okay. Amazing. 